Welcome to the first question. That special place here in the metaverse where we all seek the highest common denominator. And now let's join our guides to those farthest corners of our minds. Here we are with... Ladies and gentlemen, Pookie Amsterdam! And how about a warm welcome for Hydra Shafto? Welcome back to the first question. And you know what? Welcome back. Oh, great to see you again this week and again. Because welcome to tonight's 59th edition of the show. The first question. The quiz show to the stars. If you have an answer, mm -hmm, we have a question. And we have more. We obtained something here really precious because we're in this hour of friends, alive, together, playfully engaged, ready to play the knowledge card. That's right. And believe it, this deck doesn't miss a trick. I am Pookie Amsterdam, and this is Hydra Shapto. Thank you, Pookie. The tweet deck is pretty fun, but the Second Life deck is really fully loaded. Anything can happen, and often does. Plus, we're prettier. Oh, you better believe it. I have to agree. Plus, one Twitter is 140 characters. Hydra, could you imagine if RIM's capped at 140? I couldn't get anything done. Oh, I'm twittering the secret word now. Uh, Not. <laughs> so if you guess it by typing in open chat, Mundo will give you 500 lindens. Mm -hmm. mm, that's always a challenge. Are they going to get it or not? Okay. Tonight's word is fabulous. Okay, tonight's panel is increasing our social medium base. Indeed. This is social media big time. By facilitating our outworld counterparts, our inworld entertainment, events, and business needs, as well as health, let's meet them tonight. Our first potato. <laughs> That's like being that the terminal next. man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and next up, Second Life. She came, she saw, and ended up working here. She works as a producer for Perfect World Productions, which has shows on our network and runs what is fast becoming one of the most popular Friday night live music hotspots, The Pocket, with a huge live audience. She does some freelance writing for SecondLifeNewspapers.com and CNN iReport. Get covered with Delinda Dryson. Welcome aboard, Delinda. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, what's your element, Delinda? Uh, my element on the periodic table is diprosium. What? I really <laughs> diprosium. <laughs> uh, I really have no idea what it is. I just hope it doesn't um, hurt people. Um, at least people contagious. who are not mean. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> Um, but the first two letters are in my last name, D-Y, so uh, that's why I chose it. All right, you're now president of the Disoprosium Club. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and only member, but uh, that could change any show. Thank you and welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> our, next, um, our next... You were on our very first show, April 10th, 2008. And it's uh, just great to have you here. Thank you, and thank you, panel. You all are sublime. And now it's time for Yay Me or Nay Me. Each panelist will get a statement from us to Yay or Nay to the best of their ability. Is it a Yay or a Nay? Give us your answer and win a point. Or not. All right, Nexius, this is for you. Woody Guthrie frequently sing, and what a perfect thing for the Patal. 
<laughs> and question number two for Delinda. A qubit is a Twitter group from the Billiards Association of America. Delinda? Could you repeat that, Hydra, for her? Uh, Delinda? Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> yeah. A qubit is a Twitter group from the Billiards Association of America. I don't have a clue. <laughs> well, take Go a guess. 50 50. <laughs> a guess. Um, let's see. Is that that? Let's see, that whole Twitter group and everything. I don't, I don't even know what Twitter is. I'm behind <laughs> on the times when it comes to that. Well, take a guess. <laughs> take a guess. Okay. Um, a group of nuns Cupid. and... A group of nuns and priests that go out in the desert once a year and dance no, naked. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's yay or nay. It's a small rodent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Okay, it's nay, yes, yes, nay. <laughs> and you okay, are you, right. You got it okay. right. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Tell her, tell her what it is, I trust. Uh, it's a unit of quantum information. And and you don't have to know any any Twitter or or quitter or <laughs> or knitter at all for that. Okay, Ryzen, this is for you. German agents sent undercover to Britain for espionage per follow. Go on to the next question. <laughs> Sounds like a hell of a <laughs> party. Yeah. Anyway, question number six. There, this is for Delinda. There is a website you can automatically calculate your energy use and carbon footprint by entering data on yourself called Watson.com. So it determines your carbon footprint. <clears throat> uh, Delinda? Nay? Uh, no, that's a yay. It's a yay? Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, you can figure out how big your carbon footprint is from Watson.com. Isn't that amazing? Okay, Ryson, in 1950. You yay? You're right. Okay. Okay, and question number 10, and this is for Delinda. That it has been said, cowboys wore blue jeans to keep the rattlers away. The rattlesnake doesn't like the indigo color. <laughs> um, that would be nay. I believe rattlesnakes are colorblind, aren't they? They only see in, uh, uh, what do you call it, in red? <laughs> Uh, no, that's actually not much true. It's a yay. Uh, snakes see heat pits in their nose. Uh, their eyes do actually have small color vision. Huh. All right. Next question, Ryson. The first couple to be shown in bed together on primetime and thirdlight.com. <laughs> I think two is plenty for me. <laughs> okay. Well, Hydra. Now it's your turn to deliver gold or coal with your segment called Nugget of Knowledge. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Hydra <laughs> puts on his thinking cap. Watch out for the electric particles out there. He's going to spark you. And he mines the mountain for gold or coal. I read out the panelist statements, which have been kept under tight security. Hydra says if it's true or false, false, and the panelist tells us if he's right or wrong <laughs> by letting us know if he sharpened gold or coal. Oh, My brain springs electric. Okay. Bring it on. Mm -hmm. All right, you better believe it, and this public service announcement was brought to you by, all right, Delinda Dyson has the next statement, and it is, black is a combination of all colors. Uh, well, space is black, and there's no light there, except for, you know, what's not hitting anything. So I would say black is actually the absence of color, because it is the color of vacuum. All right. White is the presence of all colors. Delinda, did he give you gold or coal? 
Definitely gold, that's right. All right, very it's good, silver. Hydra. Uh, let's go on to Ryson. Ryson says, uh, Golden Wolf, I like that. Okay, now we bring out the first boat. Word up with boating blocks of solid teal. And our boat board for the folks at home. Word up, give us your made up word, a definition, and the audience will determine our word of the week. I'll say each word after the panelists present. And yeah, note, uh, give a little word, an extra something, something. When Pookie says vote afterwards, the audience will be using the vote boxes to award points. Please just type in forward slash with the number of the panelists you want to win. It's very easy, forward slash one, forward slash two, forward slash three, or forward slash four. Just like uh, it's written on the box. Mm -hmm. And if you could give us your made up word, Nexius. Oh boy, I'm obviously trying to wrote something while on this show, so I'm gonna be kind of- The end of the show. Okay, Delinda, <laughs> how about your word? My word is actually kind of funny. It doesn't really go with what I said earlier. I was being sarcastic. I do know what Twitter is. Um, my word is really? ridiculous. <laughs> and what does it mean, Sudi? <laughs> People who tweet that uh, what silly things like what they had for lunch that day. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> that's a great word. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I'm going to have fun saying that one. Go ahead. That, that's really. Okay, Ryson, how about you? Right. Get ready. I'm going oh, to open God. up the voting, and oops, I'm going to open up the voting, and everybody get ready. You say the words. The people start voting, and let's see who will get the most points tonight. And the first word by Nexus Fatal, slacking. The second word by Delinda, twilicious. The third word. It's ridiculous. Oh, oh twidiculous. <laughs> <laughs> the third word by Ryson. <laughs> Avi Sapien. The fourth word by Perplexity. Give me a moment on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a lifetime. <laughs> Microcephalocryosis. <gasps> Definitely a ringtone. Mm-hmm. I'll never say that one again, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so everybody vote, and you know how to do it. Our voting blocks of to solid teal after the great teal free note. I'm going to count you down for five, and then we're going to see. This is really a big, um, a big part of the uh, show because it's really a chance to win a whole lot of points. All right, five, four, three, two, one. I'm afraid we are going to have to stop the voting. And Ridiculous is Damn. by far. <laughs> yes. Ridiculous. That's right. That's right. It is the big Bryson. winner, followed by Lexi. What a great word. Do you want to say Ridiculous <laughs> a couple of times now, Hydra? I want to hear Ryson say it. Oh, yeah, Rice, and you say it. Uh, that is Thanks. utterly ridiculous. That's <laughs> utterly ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and when we come back, the scoreboard's going to look a lot different. Stay right where you are for Avataro E. Avataro. That's right, you are back here. Take a look at that board. We have one of the closest games ever. And now it's time for Avataro E. Avataro. Panelist. Which occurred in 1898 when Congress approved a joint resolution of annexation. The stage was.